okay guys uh, so in this tutorial uh, we are going to uh, see uh, basic things related to scheduling algorithms okay so there are two scheduling algorithms first one is preemptive scheduling algorithm and second one is non preemptive scheduling algorithm okay now what is been by preemptive scheduling algorithm in this mode currently running process may be interrupted or moved to the ready queue by the operating system okay so suppose uh, uh, there is one process uh, for example p1 which is currently in running state okay so this process can be interrupted or moved to move to other state other state may be it is waiting state or block state anything okay so what does it mean we can interrupt process during execution in preemptive scheduling algorithm okay now what is mean by non preemptive scheduling algorithm once the process submitted to the cpu it will continue to execute until it terminate or block itself to wait for some input output request okay so in non preemptive scheduling algorithm once process submitted to the cpu it will continue to execute until and unless it is terminated or block itself for waiting state okay so these are the two differences in uh, these are the two major uh, concepts related to this scheduling algorithms okay preemptive and non preemptive now for example first come first so okay in this suppose there are three processes as in the previous tutorial we we have seen p1 p2 and p3 and if we execute this processes sequentially like first p1 then second p2 and then third p3 okay now during execution of p1 process we are not interrupting it we are not taking p2 process or p3 process okay so that can be considered as non preemptive scheduling algorithm okay so we are not interrupting this process during execution we first completely finish p1 process then goes to p2 and then p3 okay whereas in preemptive we can interrupt process like during execution of p1 process we can stop it we can execute another process for example p2 and again we can execute p1 process okay that is nothing but preemptive okay so depending upon this criteria Uh, we are having different different scheduling algorithms okay so there are total 5 to 6 scheduling algorithms okay first scheduling algorithm is first come first serve scheduling algorithm okay second one is shortest job first scheduling algorithm third one is round robin scheduling algorithm fourth one is priority scheduling okay and fifth one is multi level queue scheduling okay 